Google has recently introduced an ambitious AI experiment known as Project Jarvis, which could redefine how we interact with technology. Unlike traditional AI tools that merely answer questions or generate text, Jarvis takes things a step further by operating directly on your computer, almost like an intelligent co-pilot. If that sounds familiar, you're probably thinking of Tony Stark's trusty AI assistant, Jarvis from Iron Man. Google's version aims for something similar. An AI that doesn't just assist but actively takes over many of the repetitive digital tasks we do daily right in the Chrome browser. Project Jarvis is built around Google's cutting-edge Gemini 2.0 model which empowers it to act as a fully autonomous computer using agent. Rather than merely offering suggestions or information, Jarvis can directly execute tasks on your behalf. Imagine it handling your online research, booking flights, comparing prices for you while shopping, or sorting through large amounts of information. By taking on these time-consuming jobs, Jarvis could free you up for more complex or creative work. What sets Jarvis apart from traditional AI assistants is its underlying technology. Gemini 2.0 is designed on advanced machine learning architectures like transformer models in a mixture of experts' framework. The setup uses smaller, specialized networks that focus on particular types of inputs, making it highly efficient. The mixture of experts' approach allows Jarvis to handle diverse tasks with greater accuracy and flexibility as each small network is tailored for a specific function or input type. Jarvis' unique architecture enables it to optimize tasks with minimal computing power by selecting the most relevant pathways for smooth, real-time web automation. But why exactly do we need an AI to manage our browsers when we already have chatbots and virtual assistants? The latest waves of AI agents, including Microsoft's Copilot Vision and Atrophic's Cloud AI, goes beyond text generation to performing real tasks directly within applications. For instance, Microsoft's Copilot Vision allows users to interact directly with web pages, while Apple's AI utilizes screen awareness to manage multiple app activities. Google's Jarvis, however, takes this concept even further by seamlessly integrating within the Chrome. This allows it to interact with and control the web environment intuitively. At the heart of Jarvis is its advanced ability to interpret commands by visually recognizing on-screen elements like fields, buttons, and navigation links. This is paired with an extensive context window now capable of holding up to 2 million tokens which lets Jarvis retain a detailed memory of past interactions. With this powerful combination, Jarvis can not only understand complex user instructions but also keep track of ongoing tasks and conversations, enabling it to multitask effortlessly. This capability allows Jarvis to handle complex sequences that involve analyzing large data sets and navigating multiple web interactions, positioning it as more than just an AI assistant. For example, if you're booking a flight, rather than manually searching for options, comparing prices, and filling out forms, you could simply tell Jarvis your preferences and it would take care of everything. The AI can capture screenshots, evaluate options, and even complete forms on your behalf. Although Jarvis is still in testing and takes a brief pauses between actions, the ultimate goal is to eliminate the hassle of juggling multiple tabs and windows. Reports hint that Jarvis could debut as soon as December, signaling a new era in web automation where one command might replace the numerous steps involved in digital tasks. The excitement around Project Jarvis has sparked speculation in the tech world about whether we're seeing the start of a shift away from the additional chatbots. Why rely on text-based assistance when you can have a fully interactive agent that can click, type, and even read your screen on your behalf? Jarvis is part of a larger trend where AI assistants are moving from passive responders to active participants in our online lives. This shift could lead to a post-chatbot world where digital assistants evolve into capable agents that can understand and execute complex instructions. However, as promising as this vision is, it doesn't come without risks. With more autonomy, there are new challenges in privacy, data security, and control that will need to be addressed as these AI agents become more deeply integrated into our digital environments. Using Jarvis means entrusting it with personal browsing data, search preferences, and even credit card details which raises clear privacy concerns. There's also a big question around control. As AI agents like Jarvis become more advanced, we will still be able to manually override their decisions? And what about security? 
If a hacker managed to infiltrate an AI agent like Jarvis, they could gain access to a user's entire digital life, exposing sensitive data across various platforms. Industry sources have flagged these concerns and it's likely that Google will start with a limited, tightly controlled rollout. By initially offering Jarvis to a select group of testers, Google can work on refining the technology, fixing bugs, and strengthening its security measures. Beyond simplifying tasks like booking flights or finding information, Google has bigger ambitions for Jarvis and other AI-driven tools. They're also enhancing AI-powered shopping features to make online searches more relevant and personalized. For example, with Google's Transform Shopping function, if you search for a winter jacket for men while in Seattle, the AI will know it rains frequently there, so it will prioritize waterproof options. Google's AI goes further by learning your shopping preferences keeping track of past searches, interests, and save items. This allows it to generate a shopping feed personalized to your style, location, and specific needs like rain-resistant jackets in Seattle. While this kind of personalized shopping experience could be incredibly convenient, it also sparks privacy concerns. Knowing that AI keeps a detailed history of what you're interested in can feel invasive even if it's meant to make your browsing easier. Google's approach shows both the potential of AI to tailor experiences and the need for transparency around how personalized data is used. Google recently introduced an AI try-on feature letting you see how clothing looks on you without actually wearing it. Using a digital version of you, Google's AI maps clothes into your image, making online shopping more interactive. Right now, it is only available with a few brands but it's a big leap for virtual shopping. As AI gets better at editing, Google and Apple are working to make these edits clear. If you edit a photo using Google AI tools like Magic Eraser, Google will Will add a label in the photo's details saying it was edited with Google AI. This helps people know when a photo has been digitally enhanced even if it's not obvious. For tech companies, these AI features represent a major business opportunity. With so much money invested in AI, companies like Google and Microsoft want to make AI a regular part of everyday tasks like browsing, shopping, or managing business tasks. Microsoft, for example, is testing an AI agent that handles customer service or sales. This could mean that a single person might soon manage a whole team of AI agents, making work faster and more efficient. We're entering a new phase where AI doesn't just answer questions but can take action on our behalf. While this is exciting, it also brings new risks. Tech giants like Google, Microsoft, and Apple are all pushing for a future where digital assistants are as common as smartphones. While Google's project Jarvis expected to launch soon, this could be one of the biggest AI shifts yet. So what do you think? Are we ready for AI to handle more of our online lives or are we opening a door we can't lose? Let me know and if you like this update, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI and tech. Thanks for tuning in.